tonight on Size Eyes on the Skies. We have a wet couple of days ahead of us looking at a wintry mix tonight, rain and snow this weekend, and cooling down into the week ahead. I'll have more about that coming up. Plus, Anthony has your national forecast. All that and more is this Thursday, November 8th edition of Size 29th, sorry. <laughs> edition of Size Eyes on the Skies starts right now. Live from Studio 171 in Ames, Iowa, the Iowa State Meteorology Department team of meteorologists brings you the latest weather from around the country and out your front door. Iowa State's longest running television program and the only live weather broadcast on campus starts right now. This is Size Eyes on the Skies. Welcome back to Size Eyes. I am now joined by Sarah. So Sarah, we had some cold temperatures early this week. It's starting to warm up, and the big story is the snowstorm that's coming in this weekend. But when I stepped outside to walk over here, I almost fell on my on my back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It's been slippery out there. What's going on? It's starting to rain now. I mean, when I was walking in here, it was drizzling, and it's going to turn to freezing rain okay. uh, tonight. That's and not then good. Tomorrow will be pretty clear, but okay. the weekend. Oh well, yeah, a dangerous night tonight sounds yeah, like. Yeah, no, for sure. As I mentioned before, tonight. That rain will turn into freezing rain and possibly snow overnight. This weekend, we're focusing on this storm system moving in that's going to bring us heavy rain most of the day Saturday into snow Saturday night and Sunday. And again, the game day on Saturday not looking too promising. Heavy rain at your tailgate and then even more during the game. Now, our current conditions, it is 34 degrees outside, so just above that freezing mark. We have light winds out of the southeast, but again, that rain and the snow is going to stick around for the next couple of days. I'll have more about that next. Hey Sarah, now it's time for tonight's weather story. On this day in 1991, a winter storm on November 28th through the 30th produced freezing rain up to an inch thick in northwestern Iowa with thunder and a mix of snow and sleet at times, resulting in accumulations of two to seven inches and widespread tree and power line damage. The heaviest sleet and snow fell on the 29th and 30th with storm total amounts ranging up to 5.3 inches at Lamar Lamar's 6 inches at Estherville and at Howarden 7.0 inches at Cherokee and Sibley 8.0 inch, 8 inches and also 8 inches at Rock Rapids. Wow, that's quite a storm right there. But for now, we're going to take a look at what's going on around the country with Anthony. Yeah, thank you, Matt. The mess is just beginning to brew here in the Midwest. Current conditions right now in Ames, it's 34 degrees right now. I'll have your national forecast, though, up next, and we'll time out this messy system that's going to be working its way in. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Now here's Anthony with a look at what's going on around the country. Thank you, Matt. Like I said, the mess is just beginning to brew here in the Midwest. This is our next storm system moving its way into parts of California right now. San Francisco, it's been a soaker of a day for you guys out there. And it's kind of a cool feature here as this rain begins to move across the mountains. It's turning into snow as it gets colder. So kind of cool. And that is going to be working its way in towards the Midwest. And we'll cover that a little bit later. Right now, Temperatures, though, are very chilly, 38 degrees in Rapid City, low 30s for Des Moines, Sioux Falls, Minneapolis. You guys are all checking in very cold tonight. 31 in Pittsburgh, a little bit warmer in New York, but still a very chilly night. As opposed to down here in the southeast, we could definitely use some of this in the Midwest right now. 67 in New Orleans and down in Florida, 68 in Miami right now. So a comfortable night down there for you guys. But where we've had this rain out in the west, a little bit cooler, 44 in Reno, 57 in Bakersfield and low to upper 30s around the northwest portions of the country right now. Here is current satellite and radar. Like I said before, you can kind of see the spin here around San Francisco. This is that next low pressure system that's going to kind of track its way across the country and work its way in towards the Midwest as we head into tomorrow and this weekend. Blizzard, er, excuse me, winter storm watches and warnings already out for portions of uh, northern Iowa. This is the winter storm watch right here. Winter storm warnings, though, in the pink for upwards of six to about 10 inches of snow. So we're definitely going to be needing to look out for some messy conditions as we head in the next couple days. 
Here's our upper atmosphere map. We bring this out to show you what's going on up above so you can see what the upper atmosphere is doing as far as cold temperatures, any storm systems, things like that. This is that dip right here that's going to produce our next storm system. And as we time this out here Friday at 7.30, moving this on in, this is that storm system beginning to work its way in towards the Midwest. Iowa, Oklahoma beginning to get in on this action as we head into Saturday. And then this kind of closes itself off and positions itself right over Iowa. I think central Iowa will be in the rainy portion, warmer portions of this system, uh, but definitely northern Iowa and our far states are going to be getting some significant snow. And if the snow wasn't enough, there's a severe weather threat with this too. Down in portions of Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, pretty significant uh, severe storm potential down there for anywhere from tornadoes uh, to hail and significant wind. So be on the lookout for that as it's just this system is really going to pack a punch as it moves through. So here's Futurecast. Let's time this all out for you. Here's Friday morning. Uh, line of snow kind of working its way in the Denver area. Billings missing out on some of this. And as we time this through here, though, you're going to see this storm system begin to push its way into Iowa and portions of the Dakotas here, making for a very messy couple days. Timestamp here at 9.30 as you're walking out the door on Saturday morning. Football games here in Iowa, definitely going to be a messy uh, morning out there. And this gradient is going to be fairly sharp across northern Iowa right here as it, this system pushes its way in. And I think far northern Iowa into the Dakotas will get the bulk of the snow as it's concerned with this system. With Chicago, St. Louis, Ohio staying on the warmer side of this system. So plan for some messy travel conditions across the Midwest. And make sure to stay tuned as this system is still in the works. So it could have some updates as we head into the next couple days. Here's our extended forecast, Little Rock, Arkansas. You guys are going to be in on that severe weather threat in the next couple days. 71 degrees on Friday with cloudy skies. I'd expect some severe weather on Friday. And then as we head into next week, temperatures are going to be dipping into the mid to upper 40s. Bam. Thanks, Anthony. And now let's take a look at tonight's trivia question. What are blizzard classifications based on? Is it A, snow and wind, B, wind and visibility, C, snow and visibility, or D, snowfall over 12 inches? We'll have your answer coming right up, but now let's have a look at the week ahead with Sarah. Thanks, man. I'll be talking more about that system and what to expect in Iowa coming up. Welcome back to Size Eyes. Now, if we take a quick look at our temperatures around the state of Iowa, we're sitting at 34 degrees in Ames, which is pretty much the story around the state. A little bit colder up north in Decorah at 30 degrees, but for the most part, we're all sitting just around that freezing level. Our wind speeds, however, are pretty calm across the state. The highest wind speed coming in at Cedar Rapids, Burlington area at 5 to 6 miles per hour, but pretty calm for now until we move into tomorrow. Now, the big story of the night is the possible snowfall that we will be seeing over the next couple of days. Now, the first time that we're going to see a glimpse of that rain is Friday night at 12.30 a.m. is when it will start to make across central portions of Iowa here in Ames. Possible snowfall towards the southeastern or eastern portion, but that'll continue on to Friday when we start to see rain again on Saturday morning at 4 a.m. But for the most part on Friday, we're just seeing heavy fog and cloud cover most of the state. Now on Saturday at 1230, that's when the state starts to split as a whole. Down south, we're going to see heavy rain. The middle and the Ames area is when we start to see that wintry mix. And then up north is when we start to see that heavy snowfall. So the state is really in three sections. But again, most of the state is really covered. Now, as we move to Sunday morning, very early is when most of the state is going to see that heavy snow. So that, w that band will shift down to Ames and possibly Des Moines where we will start to see that heavy snowfall. But down in southeastern portions, they'll either miss out or just see some scattered rainfall for the most part. Finally, Sunday night is when that system will clear out, bringing heavy cloud cover with it. Little glimpses of rain, mix, and snow down to the southern portions. But for the most part, the state is clear, just full of clouds. Now Monday, that is when we start to see our first break of sunshine around noon, but again, lots of cloud cover covering with it. We're not going to see the sun for the next couple of days. Now our estimated snowfall totals sit anywhere from five and a half inches up in the northern parts to about one inch here in Ames. Des Moines will see somewhere around an inch, slightly less. Down to the southeastern portions, they're staying pretty clear at zero, but really across the board with the heavier snowfall, it's being up north of the state. Now tonight, again, we're going to drop below, well below that freezing level at 25 degrees. We're going to see that wintry mix. Right now it is currently drizzling outside, but that will turn to freezing rain as the night moves on. But a pretty calm night besides that. 
tomorrow, again, not seeing any of that rain or snow tomorrow. It will be foggy, sun possibly breaking through in the afternoon, 38 degrees, well above that freezing level. But then as the week ahead and our game day forecast, Saturday isn't looking like a great game day. It's going to be 32 at that freezing mark during your tailgate with heavy rain moving into possible snow at your kickoff at 36 degrees. But again, going to be a wet day for those of you planning to stay at the game. Now our extended forecast for the most part this weekend, as I've alluded to, is going to be a wet one. On Friday, we have an 80 degree, an 80 percent chance of snow and rain. Saturday is that heavy day that I spoke about earlier. Sunday, our first day of December, aka the Christmas month, we are going to see some heavy snowfall as well. Monday, finally clearing up with breaks of sunshine um, down into the mid-20s at 24 and 26 on Thursday. Winter is upon us. Thank you, Sarah. For now, let's go back to that trivia question. What are blizzard classifications based on? Is it A, snow and wind, B, wind and visibility, C, snow and visibility, or D, snowfall over 12 inches? What are you guys thinking? I'm leaning towards B on this one. I think a lot of people think that you have to have snow for a blizzard, but wind and visibility are, are big parts of blizzard, so I think it would be. I think it's B as well. It's crazy that um, a lot of people don't realize that you don't have to have snow for, the, for yeah. a blizzard, but um, yeah. Yeah, you guys are both right. The uh, correct answer is B, and you, you do have to have snow to have a blizzard for that visibility, but it doesn't have to be falling. So, I mean, there's a lot of uh, blizzards in North Dakota and South Dakota that are ground <laughs> blizzards. And it uh, looks like we have a <laughs> special guest this evening, oh Santa Claus, Whoa. Mr. Chris Kringle. see my hat a little bit. How you doing, sir? I like the Colorado sweatshirt. Oh, here's, oh, here's an ice pack. Oh, oh wow. Away. Thank you. Do you, mind, uh, do you mind if I get you for a quick interview? Sure, here's your lunchbox. There's something inside oh. there, too. Oh, wow. Oh, What's is this, inside? Is this, is this for me? Yeah. Do you want me to see? And I have this very special document. Oh, you get a sandwich. This can go oh. in there, too. Oh, when I get the thesis. <laughs> <laughs> Put these two together. Wow. It's a, it's a sandwich and an ice pack. Wow, look yeah. at this thesis. You can eat it later. What a great surprise. The power of water. It's going to be a good one. Water. Yeah. That really affects Some light thesis. reading, who's, clearly. Who's Caleb Wood? I think Wood. you got the worst <laughs> present, Sarah. Is, is, he a good, is he a good kid or not a kid? I just came from, I just came from Colorado, actually. Uh, that's where I was, you know, wow. doing, okay. some, doing some pre-Christmas preparation down oh. in the mountains where wow. it's really isolated yeah. and nobody's really around. Is it snowing up there? It sure is, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. How did you travel? Did you take the bus or did you take the reindeer? <laughs> I always take the reindeer. Always? Oh. How's, uh, how's my buddy Rudolph doing? I know I saw him last year, but is he doing, <laughs> still doing okay? Actually, I'm just I'm with Rudolph right now, just alone. We're, we're getting some one-on-one -on -one Okay. Oh. I, I'd, lo I'd so love to say hi to him after the show. season, he needs to, you know, get some practice going. He's, he's one of the younger guys, so. Mm, yeah. So, uh, so how's, uh, how's travel looking like this? I mean, I mean, I know you're getting nervous because we have this big snowstorm coming in right now, but uh, well, what do you think Christmas is going to be like? I think it's going to be very snowy, pretty much across the whole country. <laughs> Across all of North America, and so I think it's gonna be very difficult, but I can't wait for it. But you're, you're flying reindeer, so I mean, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's I mean okay with you. Yeah, it's yeah. Really impossible. My my sleigh has gotten a lot of improvements recently. Mm. Okay. Windshield okay. wipers. Oh, wow. Ooh, okay. Do you have a radio system in there? Radio <laughs> system. Listen, listening to Christmas jazz all the, all the way Ooh. through. Christmas so jazz. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. I really enjoy it. Looks like Santa's gonna be riding comfortably for Christmas this year, and hopefully <laughs> you're on his good list. You can get some awesome presents like this ice pack right. and the sandwich or and the lunchbox. Yeah. Don't, Don't forget, forget about the, the thesis. Yeah. And the thesis by Obviously. some guy named Caleb Wood. By some guy named Caleb Wood. Hopefully, uh, yeah. hopefully he'll get some good presents right. this year, like maybe an A on maybe the thesis. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. We'll but uh, anyways, that concludes tonight's show. Please be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You can find every show under our YouTube Size Eyes channel. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you next semester because this is the last show oh, of the semester. Yeah, wow. Okay. So thanks for joining us, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Good to see you, Santa. Good to see you, buddy. <laughs>